Hello everyone and welcome to my Vanderpump official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Tom Sandoval and Billy Lee are having a fling. With everything that has happened on Vanderpump Rules in the last year, it's easy to forget that there were ever individuals on the show other than Tom Sandoval, Ariana Maddox, and Rachel Levis. Scandoval has dominated show talk for months and fans are eagerly for season 11. But with so much drama to sort through, many details were lost, like those who defended or supported Tom throughout, notably Billy Lee. Billy reappeared on VPR season 7 before being sacked, according to sources. She stepped in to protect her friend after he was accused of cheating on Rachel. Because if anyone needs more defense, it's Tom Sandoval, sarcasm intended. Billy's decision to jump to Tom's defense caused quite a commotion. When she first appeared on the show, rumors circulated that she and Tom were having an affair, but those claims faded with time. However, the claims have been resurrected and aggravated. On Thursday, August 3, fans spotted Billy outside Tom's house. Remember, this is the house Tom still shares with Ariana. The photographs, obtained by the Daily Mail, show Billy wearing a navy button-up, a white tee underneath, and light blue jeans. If Tom and Billy were still having an affair, that would explain why she defended him in the first place. Not only would Tom have evidence against her, but Billy would almost certainly feel compelled to defend his conduct if she were also culpable. It wouldn't be the first time he brought another girl home to Ariana's bed. Billy did convey how much Tom was feeling in the aftermath of Scandoval, and if she was complicit, perhaps she was also hurting. Naturally, not everything is a scandal. Billy may simply want to keep her friendship with Tom, but it's difficult to picture anyone actually wanting it. Why Vanderpump Rules Will Never Be Able to Outperform Season 10 Vanderpump Rules was set to cease after Season 10 owing to the loss of key cast members two seasons earlier, the pandemic closing down Le Restaurants and a drop in ratings. Some of the storylines were difficult for viewers to connect with. Lisa Vanderpump even shed a sorrowful goodbye in the conclusion. Scandoval, on the other hand, saved the series. The infidelity scandal gave the series new life, giving it one last hurrah. Almost everyone in the cast was unmarried and ready to mingle for the first time in many years. Katie Maloney and Tom Schwartz were navigating their lives on their own, Lala Kent was getting back on the saddle, and Rachel Reckel Levis was in the midst of her few asterisk girl phase. The cast was particularly incestuous in the early seasons, as they were all hot as you are servers who frequently clashed over infidelity. Season 8 did, however, reveal certain cast members, such as Stassi Scroder and Kristen Doubt, maturing and having children. Season 10 began with what viewers expected to be three major storylines, Katie and Tom's divorce, Lala and Randall Emmett's shocking split, and James Kennedy and Rachel's breakup. There was drama in the works before Scandoval even broke. In season 10, she and Ashe finally found the man of her dreams in Brock Davies, and the two planned a lavish wedding in Mexico. Who doesn't enjoy watching a bridezilla, especially one who is attempting to forget her first crop top wedding gown? The wedding was breathtaking, and Sheena looked magnificent. However, just before saying, I do, Sheena disclosed that she and Brock had been married for a year, but had kept the news from their friends. Many people were unaffected by the news since they understood why they had chosen to elope. Ariana Maddox and Rachel stood by Shiana's side, which would become its own drama. Katie had been invited but refused to leave her hotel room. She creepily observed the event from her balcony, high above. Tom Schwartz and Rachel snuck a kiss at the white party, which we now know was a cover-up for her affair with Tom Sandoval. James had only been single for what felt like a split second. Nonetheless, Fans rejoiced when he introduced his new girlfriend, Ally Luber, to the cast during season 10. James was well known for dating several women and being unkind to them when their relationships ended. Thankfully, Ally was a great addition to the group of friends and seemed to really ground James in his outbursts, especially now that he had returned to drinking. Whether you like it or not, Scandoval returned Vanderpump Rules to its season 1 roots, including a dramatic monologue and a face slap. The main premise of the show was to record the couples at the time, Stassi and Jax, Katie and Tom, and Kristen and Tom, as they went about their daily lives like most 20-somethings do. 
Each episode was emotionally charged as some trips became sour and others persevered. Season 10 began to center on relationships once more, and it felt familiar. Vanderpump Rules Season 10 has been firing on all cylinders since the first episode. It was easy to forget about past cast members like Jax Taylor and Stassi. Stassi's mean girl attitude and Jax's obnoxious statements were long gone. However, Kristen's return for the final episode was riveting and fans were thrilled to hear she would be returning to film for season 11, as crazy Kristen is always welcome. Season 11 has a lot to live up to, and many believe it will fall short of expectations. Tom is attempting to reconnect with old pals, while Rachel has yet to commit to even filming. This season could be the final one, since Bravo now has the opportunity to tie up all the loose ends. Vanderpump Rules It's NFO or Tumen 8, according to a friend, Tom Schwartz was stressed over money after Tom Sandoval was pushed out of the pair's eatery. According to the U.S. Sun, Tom's friend is being pushed out of their business as a result of Tom Sandoval's involvement with Rachel Levis. Kyle Cook, a friend of the VPR stars, is now speaking up about how Schwartz, 40, is dealing with the Scandoval reaction and how it is affecting his company with Tom, 40. I recently saw Schwartz, and I think he had already started filming, Vanderpump Rules, and I mean you can see it in his face, Kyle said to the New York Times, referring to Katie Maloney's ex being stressed. I get it. Two friends working together, he added. Money is at stake as is one's livelihood. I mean, look, I like both of them. I hope everything works out. The Summer House actress even remembered when the guys signed their first contract with Schwartz and Sandys. When we were about to start filming season one of Winter House, I asked them both to come to the show because they had just found the place and were finalizing the lease. He explained, that was like January of 2021. Kyle Forty could connect to Schwartz and Sandoval's problems because he had a similar experience with his friend Carl Rack and their business Loverboy. Carl and Kyle collaborated on the effervescent hard tea and spritz brand until Carl left in November 2022, three and a half years after its establishment, purportedly because their friendship became strained. The Loverboy creator went on to claim that Schwartz and Sandoval have kind of done the impossible. They've made it in Hollywood, Kyle explained. They've made a good life for themselves. They are willing to put their money where their mouth is. They're trying to build a future and something. I won't say unexpected, but unfortunate happens. The friendship group is ripped apart. Now the business is kind of feeling the ripple effect, he continued, and we saw that to some extent with Loverboy. I mean, reality television people, they tend to pick their sides. The TV personality understands putting in the time, energy, and money into a business, only to have it shattered by something unfortunate. I truly feel horrible. Take everything else out of it. It's an unfortunate circumstance, Kyle told the U.S. Sun ahead of judging reality lip-sync battle on August 1 at Slate NYC. However, I hope people don't hold the company and all of its employees responsible for someone else's actions. It's far larger than that. Mending men. The businessman also provided an update on his connection with Carl, who is due to marry fiancé Lindsay Hubbard this fall. Lindsay earlier told the son that the Toms should cut ties. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.